All right, I'm going to be running through a quick warm up, something I do before golf. So, starting with inchworms, which is basically keeping the knees straight, reaching down to the floor, up to the sky. And I throw in a little push up there. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I like to get the shoulders warm. I'm going to take that right into down dog position, just flossing the Achilles and hamstring, and then right into up dog few press ups. And then I'm gonna start working into the hips. Just do some hip circles and thread the needle. Start getting some rotation in the spine. Do that on both sides. Speed the film up here a little bit. I'm on all fours and we're gonna do cross crawl. Start activating the posterior chain warming up the shoulders as well. Right into thoracic rotation. Really focusing on moving the mid back into rotation. It's really important for that golf swing. A little more glute activation with a supine bridge. Can do single legs as well. And while I'm on the back, I'll do some dead bug rotations. Again, just trying to loosen up some rotation in the lumbar spine. Sitting up into the seated position. Again, hips. Working on rotation, which is super important for the golf swing. And I'll start adding some load. So just a light kettlebell if you don't have a kettlebell. Some uh, dumbbell deadlifts. Right into some kettlebell swings. You can even fill up a milk jug with water do these similar movements, and then some overhead stuff to get the shoulders moving. Lastly, grabbing a PVC pipe, doing some shoulder pass-throughs into overhead squat. If you can't do that, just squat without the PVC pipe. And then kind of practicing that golf position rotation, getting ready for the course. <laughs> 